There's crappy number two, not a giant. It's a dink. They're just like not even taking my bobber under. That sucks, but it's all it's the way she. fish on another dinky crappie it's gotten hotter out i don't know the crop i was catching a bunch of like 10 inch crappies here the other day so far the three i've got are dinks i'm just fishing brass with minnows so there's a decent spec there's a keeper at least that's a beautiful speck there it's a nice one There's another nice speck. Another like 10, 11 inch. Another beautiful speck. We might, we'll probably have a limit in like 10 minutes. We should get you quit keeping them. Fuck me. So we're out fishing, we're been catching crappies. We started off with the Dinkersaurus. I got mine. Yeah, I got my rod back. I think it's time to head in. Anyways, that'll be it for the night. It ended up being a perfect night to come out fishing. I don't know, I was missing a lot of crappies. I caught some. I caught more than enough for a meal anyways. It was nice to get out. I almost lost my pole and recovered it. Anyways, it was a good night of fishing. This lake is only open for like eight more days, so I'll probably come here once or twice more as soon as the crappie bites. So today I caught two black crappies and they're like five or six white crappies, and I'm gonna try to separate the crappie types. And then another day later this week, when I change out the grease in the deep fryer, I'm gonna see if they taste different. I might pan fry some and deep fry some to see if there's any difference. Here is a white crappie, and here is, no, that is a white crappie. Is that a hybrid? Because this is a black crappie. I know they can hybridize. I don't know, this lake seems to have a lot of white crappies and only a few black crappies. Anyways, I caught a couple. Maybe I only have one to compare it to. That'll be easy. So we'll try that. And basically all I'm going to do is just fillet them like how you fillet a normal. So we're doing the do white or black crappies taste different video. And it's brought to you by Bush Light Apple. So what we're going to do is we have our black crappie here. I'm wondering if I should just try frying one in butter and try breading it. I think that's what we'll do. So here's the one black, black crappie filet and we're just going to use the same things we used in our last catch and cook. Some high quality, great value breadcrumbs. I don't know if they're high quality. They work. And we're going to put some pepper on the filet. I already soaked them in salt water so they should be salty. Where the heck's my pepper shaker? All oh, my pepper shaker's right here. 
there's some pepper, and then we're just gonna dip it in some breadcrumbs and put it in the deep fryer. This should be nice and hot, and we're gonna fry it. And our butter's melting here, so we're gonna take the crappie filet and just put it in that nice fat cup. That means we need to get out a spatula too, though. I don't know how my batter's gonna stick. That fryer's hot. So I think this needs some pepper too. I need to get a girlfriend or something to help me record so they can record me. Then I probably can't clean fish all the time too. So we to turn this down. Oh, it's sticky. I don't know. This is probably not going to taste very good. We're trying to see if the t different types of crappies taste different. This is definitely going to taste more fishy like. It's going to taste much better deep fried. But this may be how you tell the difference between them. So here's what the deep fried brat coffee. It's like not going to turn out red, like the grease must be messed up or something. It's like falling apart. Probably the white coffee is now going to cook up better seeing as the grease is hot. What the hell? That's not good. And we have a whole bunch of white coffees to pick up. I should get out some egg wash. Here's what the fried black crappie looks like, and we're going to put that in the dish. So there's the black crappie. I guess we'll have to use a plate for the white crappie. Last time I didn't use egg wash, and the batter turned out fine. Ooh, the grease this isn't hot enough. Probably because there's a lot of grease in there. And then we need to put one in the pan over here, a white crappie. when you flip this. That's what the white coffee looks like. I didn't do a very good job frying this. This frying pan sucks too. I definitely live like a bachelor. We're gonna clean off my palate. Let's see what this just fried in butter tastes like. It's white coffee. It tastes much better deep fried than it does fried in butter. Let's try the black coffee now. Crappy is a little stronger, I don't know.
Let's see if they taste different deep fried. I doubt they taste any different deep fried. Pretty goddamn good. It tastes that different. The black coffee might be a little milder flavored. You can't really tell when they're deep fried though. I'd say the black coffee may be slightly milder flavor, but there really isn't a difference. Anyways, that's it for this catch and cook. It was fun to make. See you on the next